Hello, my name is Lindsay R. Watson, and I'm making power moves. My name is Marvin Guito, and I'm here with the lovely Lindsay R. Watson, an up-and-coming music artist. How are you doing today, Lindsay? I'm good, Marvin. How are you? I'm doing fine. Um, Lindsay, I wanted to know, how long have you been singing, and when did you know that that was what you wanted to do? Uh, my whole life, all I've ever wanted to do was sing. You know, I would dream about it, being big and star, you know. I really started singing probably like around junior high, high school time. That's when I started taking actual vocal training and started reading music and performing, you know, in local areas around my town. So who are your favorite artists and why? Hmm. Janet Jackson, Faith Evans, Kelly Price. You know, these are the people I grew up on. Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey. Stevie Wonder, Dinah Washington. I absolutely love Dinah Washington's music. She had a great, great influence on me. Yeah, the good, the good music, yeah. So in an industry where a lot of music is focused on the negativity and aggressiveness towards women, how do you feel your music is gonna fit in? I don't know so much how it's gonna fit in. I just know what I'm gonna bring. You know what I mean, Marvin? I'm into the good classic music, like the love songs that don't talk about sex, but are just love songs about love, you know, where you can kind of lean back and close your eyes and say, yeah, that's my jam, you know. That's what I'm into, and so that's, that's what I'm going to be bringing. So however that fits in, you know, that's cool. So do you feel any kind of pressure to record this type of music? No. Mm -mm. You know, I've, my, Diamond Brown, my producer, has been awesome in the fact that he's been working with me from the beginning on really developing as an artist. So I'm very, like, okay and confident with, you know, who I am as an artist and what, what it is I want to do. So I don't really feel any pressure to, you know, be anything else other than who I'm supposed to be. Okay, now, Eyes Wide Shut, that's the title of the album. Mm -hmm. Why is that explained? I wish I could say it was some big you know, revelation, but Sounds no, it really isn't. Diamond and I were on the phone one day just talking about relationships in general, and he mentioned that, and I was like, oh, that sounds like a good title for the album. And so we just decided, you know, eyes wide shut, yeah. How did your deal with 1130 Music Group go down? Mm. In 2002, I gave my life to Christ, and everything changed from there. I found the church that I'm going to now, and Diamond is also my pastor. So I started singing in the church, and then we worked on the gospel group, which didn't work out at that time. And then a year or so later, we got a chance to open together for the stylistics, and that was pretty cool, you know. And then, you know, shortly after that, we just decided, okay, let's do, well, Diamond came to me and said, okay, let's do a solo project. And I was like, of course, at that point I was ready. So that's how we started working together. Do you have any advice for aspiring singers? Yeah, I mean, Pretty much what I did was I committed to it. You know, I got to that point of no return where I knew this is what I had to have. This is who I am. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I was willing to sacrifice whatever time, you know, money, whatever it took to get to that point. So there were a lot of hours spent in the studio, you know, a lot of growth, you know, a lot of change, but it's worth it. And I would say, you know, I just never gave up. I knew I was to that point where I was like, no, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to have this. Okay, so the big question is, when can we expect the full-length album? Eyes Wide Shut, well, right now it's out. We have the EP out. So you can go to iTunes, CD Baby. We're being played in Japan, in London, and in Chicago. So it's out now. But the full-length album is going to be hitting the stores late spring, early summer of this year. So very close. Sitting here thinking about you, wonder if you really know the way I feel. So how does it feel? All your dreams are starting to come together. It is amazing. I mean, like I said before, Marvin, I've never wanted to do anything else. It's, it's like sometimes I'm like, is this really real? You know, from having a dream to a vision now, 
It's happening. We're touring around the radio. It's awesome. I would never, ever want to be anywhere else than where I am right now. There you have it, everyone. Eyes Wide Shut, available on iTunes. Lindsay R. Watson. to the left.